Good morning, Jurgen Klopp. This is a plea to you, sir. As a as a big fan of uh, not just you as a football manager, but how you are generally uh, a great member of the human race, a man with massive empathy and kindness. I'm trying to appeal to you. <clears throat> just like the Liverpool fans who worship you like the legend that you are. <clears throat> what you've done for Liverpool, your kindness, your skills as, as a football manager are there for all to see. The mighty club that you've, you've made into this it, it, like a super football club. But for me, what's important, I don't know if you know, but I've uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was appealing to the Liverpool fans to help us. My club is Scunthorpe United. And thousands and thousands of Liverpool fans uh, were in touch with messages of support, kindness, donated into our club lottery. One of the Liverpool fans actually won and donated it back to our club. Our club is really struggling with a mountain of debt left by uh, the two previous owners. Um, and... I've been just looking for ways that we can move our club forward. There was a club went bust, another non-league club in the week went under. Um, it's too many clubs are going. Uh, there's issues about funding lower league football, etc. I don't know what your thoughts would be on this. <clears throat> but what I'm looking for is an avenue and a means for somebody in your position, say, to retweet out, retweet out our our message to, to support we've got a just giving page um that's to try and help pay down the debt by the end of the football season that's how long it's going to be running till but we're looking for ideas and i'm just asking if there's anything you can do even if it's just re retweeting or sharing our message and perhaps sharing it with your players and if you just take a look and have a look what <clears throat> What the Liverpool fans have done, I'm sure, like me, you will be immensely, immensely impressed and proud of your Liverpool supporters. I'm sure you are, anyway. Um, I've come to realise um, I've always thought of Liverpool as a place that a good, moral people, people that fight injustice, people that stand up for their rights, people that stand in solidarity with other people that are struggling. That's what that makes them stand out from everyone else. So yeah, I'm appealing to you because it is obviously I now understand why it's difficult to get older people such as yourselves. I get that, but I hope I can get this message to you somehow and that you see it, and that you can maybe uh, do something like that, even if it is just a reshare or a tweet. You know, uh, I'm told a lot of Liverpool fans told me some years ago when Wrexham was struggling, they let the Wrexham fans go outside and do bucket collections, etc. Anything along those lines, um, who, who knows? Organised a friendly with our club, Scunthorpe United, uh, in the pre-season, helping to fill Glamford Park, and that would be a, a great sum of money for us to take a chunk of our debt and, and give the directors and people that are running our club, Michelle Harness, um, the chance to sleep at night. They are working tires, tirelessly. Um, the mess that these people left... And, and again, that's another issue, how the FA have let people like this come in to run football clubs. It's terrible. And it's not fair for football fans and communities such as ours to be put through this. The, the importance as well for saving the football club, it's good for the local economy, it's it's the jobs go, it, the pride in your town, etc. Anyway, it's just a message to you, Jürgen Klopp. Please, if you could help us. It would be so much appreciated. And I'm now, Liverpool are now my second team, I've got to say. I watched you destroy Arsenal on telly the other night. Absolutely fantastic. You really are a top man. Take care, everybody. Thank you.